About a year ago, I saw a bunch of emails coming in from the public complaining to me about our level of service and picking up garbage. And that was the first notification I had that we had a bit of an issue there. And that was a bit frustrating to me. So I called Jesse, our uh, CTO, and said, what's going on? How can you help me get a better pulse of, of our service to the public? And that was the beginning of the journey to create this dashboard, which is now in my office and tells me at any moment where we're at with our levels of service. I can click on one of the areas and dive in to see where we might have flooding, where we might have rodent calls. And that allows me to make some calls to the business owners to look into it. What I liked about this process, you know, oftentimes when you're developing an IT solution, it can take a very long time, spend a lot of time up front, spend a fair amount of money, and then at the end you hope you're getting what you wanted. What was cool about this is that I got to sit down with Jesse and her team multiple times throughout the development of the dashboard, and we got to evolve it and uh, evolve into this, which was a great output. And uh, it, was, it was very affordable and it was fast. And ultimately, it changed each time we met to make sure it was something that was going to be useful. What I like about the dashboard is that I get to walk by it daily and take a look at where the numbers are at, where we might have issues, click on it, dig in a little bit. And what it enables me to do is to make a call or to send an email to the business area owner to ask them what's going on. And that triggers them to ask questions within their organizations. In many cases, the business area owners aren't aware of the issue, and that just gets them on top of it. And it's been a great way to update our SLAs, because in many cases, people weren't on top of what their SLAs were. They might have been outdated. Um, and this has gotten them to update them and to track them more as an organization. And that's really helpful. So this is how the dashboard works. And you can see uh, the different call types. And the ones where we're meeting our service level agreements are in green, yellow are problems, and red, we're, we're, we're off track. So let's take a look. On a big, big day of storms like today, you can see sewer backup flooding is, is red and catch basement issues. So let's click on catch basement issues, and we can get some details. So here it shows you we've got 29 open calls. We've attained four. Four are overdue. And you can see on the map, where, where that is, what percent has been met, number of cases, and where the calls came in. So it's a really nice snapshot of what the issue is. It uh, really sets us up for what questions to ask of the department when we're calling about why it might be read. You can also kick, click on the SLA and the KPI definition. So right here from my desk, from, uh, from my office, I can get a sense of how we're defining what that service level agreement is. So it's, it's high level, but it's uh, a great place to start with what questions to ask.